These are the best QLED TVs in India. Continue watching to know why or jump to the recommendations directly from the timestamps below. QLED TVs sit right in the middle from a pricing and picture quality point of view compared to LED and OLED making it a good TV option for a majority of people. This video will focus on QLED TVs. Not all brands call them QLED TVs. LG calls it as NanoCell and Sony calls it Triluminous and uses the com combination of technologies to get similar results of QLED. Before we start with the three key things to consider when buying a QLED TV, the picture quality, the audio quality and the usability, let's talk about the pricing. Pricing for TVs has such a wide range budget TVs would be good enough for a majority of people. But there is value in TVs that cost two or four times the price of a budget TV. So first let's start with the comparison on picture quality. All the TVs compared are 4K Ultra HD or 4K UHD TVs. One key thing to look for is the HDR or the high dynamic range format that is supported. But remember, this is not the only metric to look for as all TVs support some form of HDR now. HDR10 is the most basic one, supporting only static metadata and a lower picture quality. HDR10 Plus and Dolby Vision, which is a proprietary HDR format, are more advanced. Some TVs support both of these formats, but since Dolby Vision is licensed, you will see many big brands like Samsung, LG and Sony not claiming support for Dolby Vision. Having one or both of HDR10 Plus and Dolby Vision is recommended. Amongst the TVs compared, budget TVs primarily only support HDR10 as you can see on the screen. The next thing you have to consider is the refresh rate. Higher the refresh rate, the better. What does higher refresh rate mean? It helps to reduce motion blur and provide a smoother visual experience in fast-paced scenes. This is especially beneficial while watching action movies, sports, and while playing video games where very quick movements occur. A 60Hz refresh rate is sufficient for watching regular TV shows and movies. But if you watch fast-paced sports, movies or for gaming, a higher refresh rate of 120Hz or upwards is better. Amongst the models compared, most of the Samsung QLED TVs, the VIEW Masterpiece Glow series, Hisense E7K Pro QLED TV, the Hisense Mini LED TV, TCL Mini LED TV and the Sony Bravia have the highest refresh rate. If you watch cable TV or content on YouTube, a lot of the content is lower resolution. Upscaling helps to stretch this content to match your TV's pixel which is 4K. 4K upscaling or AI upscaling gives the best upscaling result. A number of budget TVs from Acer and Motorola only support UHD upscaling and not 4K upscaling. The last thing to consider is the panel type. Now, not all brands are publishing the panel type anymore. In fact, Sony goes as far as to say that the same model can come either with an IPS or a VA panel. So, they are seeing some equivalence in it. In general, IPS panel TVs are better in brighter rooms and when you need to see the TV from various different viewing angles, not just from the front. VA panels are better for darker rooms and give much better contrast ratios and are great for a cinematic experience. Now, if you plan to use the TV for gaming, in addition to the refresh rate, you do need to look for three additional capabilities. The Auto Low Latency Mode or ALLM, the Variable Refresh Rate or VRR, and the support for eARC HDMI port for connecting your gaming console. In general, this is supported these days in most of the TVs except for a few budget TVs like Motorola, Infinix and the Acer V-Series. The second key aspect is the audio quality in a TV. As TVs have gotten slimmer, the sound quality of TVs has gone down significantly. And hence the popularity of sound bars and home theatre systems. But in case you are not planning to add a sound bar or a home theatre system, then you need to consider two key things. The first is the output wattage. Higher is better. The VIEW Masterpiece Glow series has the best output wattage amongst the TVs compared followed by the TVs from Samsung, Hisense, Toshiba, TCL and iFalcon, which have about 50 watt wattage. The second is the number of speakers or audio channels the TV provides. Of course, although the TVs claim to have surround sound and Dolby Atmos, with just two speakers, you practically will never get that. So amongst the TVs compared, only the Samsung Neo, the VIEW Masterpiece Glow series, the MI Q1 series and the Sony Bravia X90L 
have more than two speakers. None of the budget TVs have that. My recommendation, unless you are using the TV in a small space, do consider adding a sound bar or a home theatre system for better sound quality. The third key aspect is the usability of the TV. Operating system used by the TV really makes or breaks the browsing experience. LG, Samsung and Hisense use their own operating systems of WebOS, Tizen and Vida respectively. Infinix uses WebOS in some of their TV models. The pro of such a proprietary operating system is that they are optimized for user experience. So they are easy to use. But the con is that they are challenged on the apps available. Of course, the popular ones like Netflix, YouTube, Hotstar and so on are available. Google TV or Android TV that is used by most other TVs have a much better range of apps, better content suggestions and better voice control as well. Having used all of these, I personally prefer the Google TV experience. You don't want to be trying to browse the TV and then limited by really slow user experience or frequent freezing of the display. That is where the RAM and storage capacity come into play. Higher is better. Amongst the QLED TVs compared, View Masterpiece Glow series, the Hisense models, TCL Mini LED TVs have the best RAM capacity. And the TCL Mini LED and Sony Bravia have the best ROM capacity, both of which of course come at a higher price. And lastly, the connectivity. All TVs have multiple HDMI and USB ports to connect your streaming sticks sound bars, home theater systems and gaming consoles. The eARC HDMI port is recommended for connecting sound bars, home theaters and gaming consoles. Amongst the models compared, the Motorola Envision X and Infinix W1 do not have the eARC port. So don't recommend this if you're planning to connect any of those appliances. Warranty for big brands like LG, Samsung, Sony and many budget brands is generally one year with Samsung giving an extra one year on the panel. The Acer W series, the View Masterpiece Glow series give the best warranty of three years, with the remaining brands giving two year warranty. Now that we understand what parameters to use to select the best TV for your needs, here are my recommendations for the best 55 inch QLED TVs in India. The same models are available in smaller or larger sizes too, if you prefer those. In the budget segment, less than 40,000, I have two recommendations for you. But remember, these are budget TVs and you cannot compare the quality of these with the premium TV segment. There will be a significant deficit in the color range and brightness in these TVs made up by the lower cost of course. The first is the Hisense E7K. At this price point, this TV is a steal. It has great specs as you can see on the screen. It has a two-year warranty which is a plus. The two key things to keep in mind when buying this TV is one, it uses the VIDA operating system. While such proprietary operating systems are optimized for user experience, it can be limited in terms of the app support. However, major apps are supported. You can overcome this by getting a streaming stick like the Amazon Fire Stick. It only has two speakers with a sound output of 24 watts. So a sound bar or a home theater system is recommended along with this. A second recommendation is the Kodak model that you see on the screen. This TV checks all the boxes and has the makings of a good TV at a budget. Although this TV does support ALLM and VRR, I would not recommend this TV for gaming primarily because of the lower refresh rate. Three things to keep in mind when buying this TV. One, Kodak has limited brand reputation in the TV segment. The service is just okay for these TVs. Some users of this TV highlight the upscaling of lower resolution content like full HD content isn't great. And three, while this TV does support HDR10 Plus and HLG, its peak brightness and color range is not comparable to high-end QLED TVs leading to a lower visual experience. Like I said before, I believe at this price point, these are acceptable trade-offs. In the 40 to 50,000 price point, I again have two recommendations for you. The first is the Hisense E7K Pro. This is one of the only TVs in, the, in this budget that gives a 120Hz refresh rate, supports ALLM and VRR, so also good for gaming in addition to giving a good picture quality. It also has one of the best RAM configuration, which is 3GB. But the challenge I have with Hisense TVs is their operating system, the Vida operating system. While this is optimized for user experience, it can be limited in terms of app support. 
However, major apps are supported. You can overcome this challenge by getting a streaming stick instead. My second recommendation at this budget is the TCL C645 model or the T6G model. Both of them have very, very similar capabilities. Again, all the great capabilities that you would like to see in a QLED TV is available in this TV. One key thing to keep in mind before buying this TV is that users have complained about seeing a lag or a hang of the TV requiring a restart of the TV periodically. Next, let's talk about the 50 to 65,000 price range. The first is the View Masterpiece Glow Series. Overall, great picture quality with a 1000 nits peak brightness, 120Hz refresh rate, support of both Dolby Vision and HDR10+. Sound capabilities are also great with 100 watt output with 4 speakers and 1 subwoofer. One key thing to note before buying this is the service. Many users have complained that calling a service rep home after the warranty costs a non-refundable sum of 1500 before even they inspect the TV. The Hisense U7K Mini LED TV is my second recommendation. Compared to other QLED TVs, this Mini LED TV uses thousands of tiny LEDs resulting in deeper blacks brighter highlights and reducing the blooming and halo effect. Currently, this is the only mini LED TV in my recommendation. It has the best refresh rate of 240Hz and coupled with other leading capabilities that you see on the screen, this TV gives a very good picture quality for all types of usage, casual viewing, fast moving sports, action movies and gaming. Let's talk about the premium segment. My first recommendation is the Samsung Frame TV. This TV provides the best of both worlds, a great picture quality when it is in use and a great art experience when it is not in use. It also has a matte display that avoids reflection from other items in the room so you can enjoy what's on your screen clearly. You can also purchase a bezel or a frame separately for this TV to match the decor of your home. My second recommendation is the Sony X90L. The Sony X95L mini LED TV is not yet available in the Indian market. But when it is, that would be my recommendation instead. The pricing is steep, like all Sony TVs. But Sony provides the best picture quality amongst the premium TVs compared. Good color accuracy, sharpness and contrast while being able to upscale content really well. If you have the budget for it, go for this TV without thinking twice. Premium TVs provide a much better picture quality in terms of color accuracy, sharpness and contrast due to higher investment in display technology and superior processors. Premium TVs have a much better build quality than budget TVs and therefore they last a lot longer. On an average, budget TVs last for about 5 years while premium TVs last for 10 plus years. Obviously, there is a premium to be paid for brand reputation and brands that have a long history of producing high quality electronics and they also provide better service. Do consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. It's free for you, but immensely beneficial for the channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.